How fucked am I TG? The commissar is furious with me and wants to make an example of me. Be guardsman. Been on battlefield service for over a month. So I'm clearly an officer veteran. During downtime rogue trader visits our base of operation. Decides to sneak off with Craig's lasgun. End up selling it for some recaf and a celestin body pillow. Craig gets executed for losing his lasgun. Fuck that guy he was an asshole for stealing everyone's shit. Next day. Commissar inspects the barracks. Sees my celestin body pillow. I'm out on patrol while this is happening. And I get a vox message from my bro Marcus that the commissar is furious and is looking for me. I'm posting this from my data slit. And I don't want to be executed. Help me TG guard. Remember the commissar always away on private voxcasts that were always above our rank. Rumors had it, our commissar is video voxcasting xeno women, yet none of our men want to speak out due to fear of being executed. With my situation, I decided fuck it and reported my suspicions to the local priest because I might end up being executed anyways. Tell my guys to meet up with Marcus and cause a distraction while I meet up with the priest. I go and confess my suspicions of the commissar to the priest. Really bruh dot vox. Turns out he is an inquisitor who was sent to investigate the commissar for dealing with Xena women and he was sent to gather evidence of such heresy. I tell him of my celestine body pillow and he calls me a weeaboo. Yet pardons me for worshipping a divine being of our emperor. Fuck yes dot vox cast. I blame Gilliman. Ever since he came back with his elder waifu, loads of guardsmen and commissars have been shacking up with the stickies. I'll admit, I've been tempted. I could have sworn some farseer was making doe eyes at me. I'm too loyal for this shit. Vox. Blaming our great god Gilliman for the xenophilic heresies. If I could purge you with my cogitator, you would not speak him such nonsense. And since when people are calling the pointy helmet jerks as stickies? Celestine body pillow. Just say it protects you from chaos. Talking to the Inquisition. Breath, you know what happens when you're done being useful, right? If you're lucky you'll just get servitorized. I'm apparently under custody of the Inquisition, mostly for evidence for the Inquisitor's investigation. Turns out more stuff has gone down since my last post. Inquisitor had some henchmen disguised as fellow guardsmen. Those guys caught the commissar video chatting with a TAU woman. It's on now heretic.vox. Inquisitor asks me to come along to help purge the Xeno fucker commissar. I end up accepting due to not having any other choice, and plus I want my Celestine body pillow back. Fast forward some time later, we're back on base. Most of the guys from the regiment accept the presence of the Inquisitor due to everyone being suspicious of the commissar's fetishes. As we knock on the commissar's barracks, turns out some of the men who were low-key xenophicus fuck you Dave. No wonder why the commissar didn't execute you for having that Plexino magazine. And no shit, this is where it gets totally fucked. Our commissar deadass wanted to assimilate us to the greater good, so he called over a TAU fleet to kill the men who were still faithful and loyal to the emperor. So now our regiment is split between us, and some inquisitional forces, and we're fighting against some TAU strike force, and commissar xenofucker and the part of our regiment that are total xenofuckers too. Did I mention that we were on a planet that had sleeping necrons? We're in a total firefight, it's a clusterfuck with people dying everywhere and shit blowing up. Be me. Farseer of Craftworld Bailtan. Hear rumors that monkey are bigger and better in the bedroom. Fuck it dot rune. Single out random monkey soldier to test this theory. Stupid fucker just stands there and stares at me, despite my advances. Aisha's titanic tits. Are all monkey males this ignorant? I have needs too. Banging towel. For frack's sake. Have seen a tau's face? They are uglier than the average green skin. Then again they seem to gotten really good in brainwashing innocents to their foul cause. That free for all situation. Reminds me of a job about looted psi gems a few years ago. During the fire fight, Commissar Zenificer and the Xeno fetishist guardsmen all focus fire on me for exposing what is going on. Emperor protect dot emperor. Because they were so focused on me, most of their guys end up getting shot and murdered. Commissar Zeno fuck end up escaping when TAU come around to pick him up. We end up fighting TAU fuckers and actual now, our base of operation is burning. While all the chaos is happening, I manage to find my Celestine body pillow in pristine condition praise the emperor and end up carrying it with me the entire time. Turns out the fighting awakens some necrons, who end up penning down the TAU. So now things are getting fucked even further. Inquisitor bro wants to pursue Commissar Xeno fucker and destroy the entire TAU fleet that is orbiting our planet. Howling Banshee decides to sit on my lap. Pop a boner. 
she noticed, and is now wiggling around. Emperor help me. Rub her ears. Touch her soul stone. Inquisitor decides to leave me in charge of the rest of the loyalist guardsmen and tell us that we should fight the Necrons. Turns out, during the fighting with Commissar Xenofucker and the traitor guardsmen, one of the TAU ships was shot down and crashed on the planet. Now it's a total clusterfuck of TAU and traitor guardsmen, fighting against us guardsmen while Necrons that just woke up are shooting anything that I send one of them. I still have my Saint Celestine waifu pillow. Whatever is left of our regiment believes it's a sacred relic, and we hold the line. Somehow I managed to go from being on death row, to leading half a regiment of guardsmen fighting TAU, traitor guardsmen, and necrons while an inquisitor hunts down my Xeno fucking commissar. We'll continue to keep your guys posted, Emperor Protect. Be Celestine body pillow. Screaming internally. Be me, Dolky IST orc in this air sector. Sumo the boys says dear be a right good scrap nearby. Bunch of humies and blue boys fighting over some sort of pillow thing. What dot gawk? What eva? Oh I want it. While waiting for OP to reply, has anyone fought traitor guardsmen before? My regiment is landing on a planet full of xeno fuckers and traitors. Solitary traitors. Just like us, but with way less support off world. Protal traitors. Contrary to TAU propaganda, they do not get new plasma weapons, but they do get lots of Xenos friends. Chaos traitors. They are more of a rabble of crazy murderers and rapists, but they are the cannon fodder of their elite doucher bags of starts and demons. Be a howling banshee aspect warrior. Damn my ass looks great in this suit dot wraith bone. Decide to tease a nearby monkey guardsman, since if rain says we're allies now. Sit my delicate reed on his lap. Might as well make himself useful, after all. Notice a protrusion shortly after. Is that a last gun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me dot rune? Aisha's tits, are all monkey this blessed. No wonder the other girls won't date elder males anymore. Oh no ya filthy green skin. That pillow belongs that guardsman and I'll be damned if any you green fucks steal it from him. Be me, watch captain of the death watch. As Trapath rushes into office, says TA you have corrupted half a guard regiment and there is open battle. And that this was yet another fucking tomb world. Dispatch a death watch kill team to sort this shit out before it goes all cold shoulder on us. Get several more kill teams on standby, just in case. Be guardsman regiment gets deployed to go to some random planet in the ass end of the ultima segmentum. Turns out half the fucking guard there are a bunch of space commie sympathizers. Fucking blueberry bitches. Vox. Swing by Amerigo Scundus to pick up some of the Wolverine regiment. They could use some exercise. I just hope the fucking elder aren't there. I think you just fucking jinxed it there boy. AWW, frack. Half of the crew got gibbed a week ago in another Galafield fuck up. There is almost certainly at least a minor chaos cult in the brig. The entire starboard wing is fucking greenskins. Fucking greenskins that keep raiding the commissary through the air ducts. We aren't even halfway to our destination. I wish I had a body pillow. Beat Sinch. Take a break from all the convoluted schemes I've been thinking of and take a peek at the material realm. A bunch of mortals are fighting over a stupid body pillow with some golden slut on it. Not as planned. Warp. Gotta figure out how to blame this shit on someone else now. Be Papa Nurkel. Isha is mad at me. Try to think of something to cheer her up. She's so cute when she smiles. Learn that there's a body pillow on some backwater planet that is apparently special enough to have several factions of materials fighting over it. Send Typhus and some of his friends to go and politely ask for it. My love is going to love her new nurgling body pillow. I'm sure of it. Isha is cheating on him with Mortary and you know. Impossible. Isha is pure and faithful. Be Gilliman. Have to slog through bureaucratic nightmare that is father's empire. Fuck you logger.vox. Keep finding out about fucking atrocious war zones that should not exist. Like this one sector. For some reason, some commissar got pissy that a guardsman had a body pillow of that one angle lady I saw when I woke up to this nightmare. This somehow led to, to the guard starting an investigation which uncovered the commissar was working with TAU, which then escalated into a multi-faction war on the planet over this body pillow. It's a smaller version of that one planet that's literally called shithole, except with a less fire. 
decide to send in a couple chapters of my boys to prevent this situation from somehow getting worse. Isha spoils all the secret cures to all of Nurgle's new diseases behind his back there is no way she is faithful. Be me, orc yeast orc in the sector. Be having a roid proper scrap. Lots of humies to crump. Lots of blue boys to crump. Dem spiss mariners come by. What a wonder all- <laughs> Dot mork. Oh I haven't seen the boys dis happy since dat scrap on cold shoulder. My face when this is gearing up to be the cold shoulder incident all over again. Emperor almighty you guardsmen get into some crazy shit. B brother sergeant Raphael of the death watch. Review mission parameters with kill team on route. Purge necrons. Purge tau. Purge Xenos loving gourds men. Protect holy relic. The holy relic is a body length cloth sack, ostensibly contained the mortal remains of the sister of the Adepus Sauritus who was sainted upon her martyrdom. Glance towards brother Icarus, our devastator. Glance at his white pauldron, his white pauldron, with its black bird and single blood drop. He smiles back at me, I can see it, even through his helmet. We arrive and begin our insertion via Thunderhawk. Take fire from TAU anti-air. Alarm klaxons blare as our transport's machine spirit warns us of its impending demise. I give the order to strap on the single-use jump packs and leap while the pilot fights to keep us airborne. Like the blood angel I am I descend on wings of fire and fury into the TAU battle lines. Discharging my sped jump pack I tear into the crew with my chainsword. Xenos blood spraying everywhere. I remember to shoot my bolt pistol a few times as well. I am proud of that. Brother Icarus lands somewhat behind me with a loud whump. A blue-white bolt of energy shoots past me, into a devil fish which Karen's out of control as its vile machine spirit fails to maintain its anti-gravs properly. Brother Icarus follows up with a second shot from his LAS cannon, and the devil fish explodes. A few fire warriors escape the death of their transport and are trying to form a firing line. I cut my way free of the crew and rush towards them. Our thunderhawk hits the ground with a massive grinding crash, and tears a long, long furrow into the earth. None of my other brothers got out in time. I hope they are well. The crash did not look too bad. They are just far away from the fight. LAS fire rakes the remnants of the Tau. It is the guard's men. Even as I know I must meet the guardsman who keeps the holy relic. I hope that he is not here yet. Brother Icarus is still ambulatory. Be me. Necron Lord. Trying to get some sleep. Get waked up by some booming sounds on the surface. What dot obelisk? See some of the other Necrons already awakened moving towards the surface. Damn it not this shit again dot eggs. Go to the surface to see just what exactly is going on while half awake. Get a report that there's a war going on over a pillow by some pariahs. Didn't really listen to whatever they said except for that one part about a pillow. Start thinking about sleeping again and how great having an actual pillow would be. Decide I'm going to get that pillow and go back into my tomb to get some more sleep. With its black bird and single blood drop. By the emperor.vox. Guardsmen. Bolt. Down. Everything. Keep your hands on that body pillow at all times guardsmen. The magpies must not steal it. Be guardsmen. Be a veteran of the cold shoulder incident. Relaxing while on an extended leave on some shithole planet. Living the dream.vox cast. Suddenly get called to arms since half the fucking local regiment turned traitor to those fucking blueberries. Fucking necrons are here. Fucking space marines are here. Fucking orcs everywhere. Learn this whole cluster fuck was started over a fucking pillow. Emperor damned not this shit again. Vox. Get kitted up in my standard issue cardboard armor. Make sure my last gun isn't on safe. Board the nearest death trier. Chimera transport. Once more into the breach. Be elder. Can't get a date. Been an incel for at least half a millennia at this point. Investigating something on a monkey planet with the lads. Suddenly war starts over a pillow. The fuck dot hologram. See a female guardsman. 10 out of 10 for a monkey. Let's try it. Say hello. Guardsman screams for their emperor. Opens fire with their laser pointers. No cutie monkey guardsman waifu. Why even live bros? Be Lieutenant Augustus of the Imperial Fists. At least I used to be. Several months ago I was among many of several companies stationed in the notorious cold shoulder system. Over time Captain Thorne has been converting all fists on the planet towards the Imperial cult which recently led to almost every fist in that system to be exiled from the chapter. Thorne ended up forming us into a new chapter called the Emperor's Divine Fists. CZ as fuck but when I tried to argue against our new chapter master he sent me and my demi company to go find new recruits. 
This led us to stumbling upon this shithole. The guard regiments have gone insane which has led to multiple Xenos and filthy heretics popping up all for a body pillow. It reminds me of a small scale version of our home world. The recruits here will be magnificent recruits. Beefem Tao. Check in my messages. Weird one from a commissar. Deleted. Later. Get a call from same commissar. Sounds really gross. Hang the fuck up. This happens more times. Complain to high caste about it. They tell me I should communicate with him to bring his humans to the side of greater good. Have to pretend to like this sweaty fucking nerd. Fuck my life. TG. Be corn. Notice Blood River is flowing a bit more than usual. Chainax boner dot rage. Look for possible source. Random ass planet is a flame over a stupid fucking pillow. I bet Slanish is behind this dot fury. Send forth a legion of bloodthrusters and the world eaters to sort that shit out. I don't even care where the blood comes from dot warp. Be sanctioned sicker. Everything sucks. Guards men fear me. Commissar is an asshole and constantly hovering over me with his bolter every second he isn't busy fapping to Xenos like the depraved heretic he is. Can't call him out for fear of being accused of possession and subsequently balamed. Can't convince the others since none of them like me because sicker. I didn't ask for this dot vox. Be in mess hall just trying to avoid everyone when all of a sudden a commotion kicks off. The guardsmen have started offing each other left and right for some reason and the fucking TAU have shown up. Tau abscond with commissa blueberry fucker while everyone is fighting. Realize that I just missed my opportunity to potentially kill that bastard and get away with it. Begin venting my frustrations by frying traitor guardsmen with warp lightning. Unlimited power dot zap. In between all of the fighting managed to get one of the loyal guardsmen to explain to me what the hell is going on. Turns out this all kicked off because Commissar Blueberry fucker didn't like one of the guardsmen's body pillow. This whole thing basically started because of a difference in waifu preferences. I'm fighting in a fucking waifu war. If this isn't some slanishi tier shit I don't know what is. Briefly wonder whether or not I should just give myself over to the warp and spare myself the shit to come. Looking back on it I should have done it. I had no idea just how ludicrous shit was about to get. Be tyrannid. Dot nom. Be guardsman. Shit has gone few but faster than expected. Orcs are here. Elder are here. Tau are here. Space marines are here. Fucking chaos and tyrannids are here. Why does this shit always happen to me? I just wanted to take a damn vacation. And now the planet is 90% craters from artillery fire. At least it can't get any worse, right? <clears throat> so yeah, I did say we were going to be starting a new series, though, as I'm sure you can tell, this is a break off of the cold shoulder. So, like, you know, they won't be coming out as often as a cold shoulder. Think of it, like, you know, maybe once a fortnight sort of thing, just because I don't want to get, like, you know, too far ahead, because it is set a wee bit later on. You know what I mean? Think of this as just more of an expansion on the traditional Game and Board 40k fan fiction universe that they've created. It's a lot of fun. I fucking love it. Like, you know, honestly, the cold shoulder, I think it's fucking great. It's just so funny. You know what I mean? It's so ridiculous and out there, and... They work on all the big stereotypes, and it's the same here, you know what I mean? Like, you know, for God's sake, they're fighting over your fucking body pillow, you know? So, uh, God knows where this will go in direction, although they say it can't get any worse. Oh, fuck, I don't know about that. But no, look, as I say, it's going to be a new series for us, but, like, you know, it's not going to be all that often. Although, like, you know, God knows, I don't know. Let us know in the comments down below what you think, like, you know, uh, you know, if you, have you enjoyed it? Or would you say, no, just keep going with the cold shoulder and then come here afterwards? Or, you know what I mean? I don't really know. Like, you know, I'm just going to, like, you know, work on it from what, like, you know, the feedback and what you guys make of it all. So we'll just find out from there. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. But anyway, look, uh, while you're down there, I would also definitely recommend to check out the Patreon and check out the Discord. The Discord is a lot of fun. Like, I mean, a lot of fun. We've got a really good thriving community of piss goblins. Like, you know, I fucking love them. So, God knows. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's weighing down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?